Hello, this lecture is for English speakers. It concerns three or four important AI, artificial intelligence, basic vocabulary presented in two languages, English and Russian. It is obvious that the science of AI is a very competitive in the world today because it is closely connected with power, control, computers, human beings, and other such important topics of discussion. Definitely, Russian people will benefit here to see these few terms, and they will figure out themselves all I'm talking here about. However, if an English speaker, uh, sorry, if an English-speaking uh, person has no idea of Russian alphabet, which we call Cyrillic also, he or she may get interested when I start showing here the lettering which Russians use when speaking of artificial intelligence. And I also show how this lettering may be confusing in Latin alphabet presentation, while actually in Russian alphabet there is no confusion whatsoever. So I'm showing here all these issues graphically. Let's start with a big bright yellow frame where I show a digit one, number one, in English keyboard that we call Latin alphabet also. Then I show a small case of the letter L, like in the word little. And nearby I show the capital letter I, like in the sentence I am a teacher, the pronoun I capital letter. And then look please at the green frame where it is shown how Americans write by hand the digit one. Surprise, surprise, bordering with a confusion. All three above named written signs, a digit one and two letters, the small L and the capital I are written almost identically the same way. In this respect, I feel sorry for American children who start studying alphabet and numbers and then they come to the realization that two letters and a digit are very hard, hard to tell apart when one is reading printed and handwritten text. Now, let's look at the Russian keyboard in the left upper extreme corner of my slide, framed in a red fine frame. And we can see how easy to differentiate between the Russian digit one, which is written pretty much as the Russian and English keyboards have it. You can see the Russian handwriting in a dark blue frame. Also, here you can see that Russians put a little cross stroke on the digit seven, while Americans do not do that. Actually, it is a helpful identifier when to look at the fast handwriting of digits 1 or 7. So, in Russian keyboard section, here I have three same things that I have in the English keyboard section, only presented in Russian language. These are digit 1 and both, and both uh, cases, small and capital, of the two Russian letters L and L. E, which in English we pronounce letter I, unless it is in the English words with closed syllables like kit, pit, wit, or the first uh, syllable of witness, E. And now I will pronounce in both languages a few fre frequently used terms of artificial intelligence topic, the way they are used in acronyms. Acronyms are abbreviations of phrases by capital letters only. So, used in acronyms in Russian culture today and in English-speaking American culture. And with this knowledge, you will get a better idea of what Russians or Americans or those uh, mixed are talking about in these kind of articles. I'd say with the passions running hot around artificial intelligence today, the more one knows who says what and who just invented what, the better one is protected. One who. One means a human being of the world. Okay, 
let's go to the vocabulary, the way it looks in printed text and the way it sounds. We are going to do the double pink frame now, the vocabulary frame. Russian will be black color and English will be blue color. IT COMPANIA IT COMPANIA IT COMPANY So in this line we see Russian um, acronym uh, and they, you see, they uh, borrow, uh, they don't borrow. They, this is the Russian phrase also. Компания информационной технологии, the company of information technology or informational technology. Um, one more time, the first two lines. IT компания, IT company, компания информационной технологии, компания информационной технологии. Information technology, IT company. In the middle, we see Russian letters, EE, -E, which stand for искусственный интеллект and means artificial intelligence. EE, -E, искусственный интеллект. We see in Russian adjective, искусственный, artificial, double S, and double N in suffix, искусственный. This is the spelling. Intellect, double L, intellect. E, E, искусственный интеллект. A, I, Russians also use Latin letters, letters A, I. Uh, they use E, E, Russian, and they use A, I from Latin alphabet from English language. The next line we have A, I, technology. So this is a mixture of... Um, um, English acronym AI and Russian word uh, plural noun technology. AI technologies. In Russian, technology. Technology. All these words basically almost the same, only pronounced um, according to the rules of uh, each of the languages here, Russian and English, but actually they are from Greek roots, all of them, these kind of words. Greek and Latin roots. AI uh, artificial intelligence and I hope this was helpful to you and useful thank you and thank you for visiting my channel bye